Welcome back to another Lazy Sunday. Today, that's not right. It's a post bag is what I mean. God, you get so used to saying something. Even I haven't even done one for ages. Anyway, we've got some stuff to open here. I really shouldn't be buying any more stuff. I haven't finished the project I've got. Anyhow, this is the situation I find myself in. So um, we've got a few bits. This one sounds really interesting. I like the sound of that. Um, and I don't know what all of these are. There is one that's very, very interesting. Let me see if I can... It's got an eagle thingy on it. Is that an eagle? Oh, a peregrine falcon um, is the thing. Let me just focus up on that. Hang on. Don't know how much of my uh, <laughs> postal address I'll get in there. Hopefully not too much. I can't focus on it. Hang on. There we go. What is the stamp collecting thing called? It's something or other. Anyway, that's a peregrine falcon there. It's a cool stamp, isn't it? Anyway, let's move some of these things out of the way. One of these, whoops, might have opened that one already. So I know what's in there. This one is described as a development board. So let's cut into this one. Now, hopefully this is what I think it is. Please. Oh, I think it is. So this is an ESP32. If you come in a bit. ESP32. Now I'm picking one of these up. Does it have any details on here? ESP32 plus two, <laughs> one CPU. I don't know what that means. Let's have a look. I'm picking this up because Sion, or the unexpected maker as you may know him better. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Should we? Don't know if I can improve that. Not much. He's been doing some tutorials on these bad boys here. And so this is a Vroom Thor 32. I can come in a bit closer. There we go. So it says Vroom 32. So it's a 32 bit processor on this development board. Um, we've got an AMS 1117. That's the 3.3 voltage regulator. It's not a great one. Um, and what is that, a CP1 something? Hang on, let's read it. Well, I definitely can't, but I believe it's the CP102 or something similar to that. So it doesn't have one of those CH340s on there. And it's certainly not an FTDI. Let's have this out of there. Anything else of interest on here? ESP32S. Oh, crumbs. I don't know whether that makes any difference whatsoever. Let's pretend that means super speed or something like that. Um, we've got a lot of the pins broken out on here. There's so many pins. Um, but I loved what Sion was doing, the Unexpected Maker was doing on his tutorials and showing how to program this and how when you're... Actually, let's clarify this. When you're using MicroPython, it's like super different and exciting. So. I want to try one of these out. I'm not sure if it's going to be something I'll use. It might just be something I use to expand my own knowledge, as it were. So next up, we've got this one. And this one doesn't say anything on it, but it's from the UK and says, Tofil World Roads YouTube channel. Don't know what that means. So let's just cut into this, shall we? Yes. Okay, so speaking about buying things and not actually working on any of my projects, well, this is something that's going to help me. So this is like a little button board. Oh, it's, of course, it's, um, it's just a Chinese import <laughs> resold in the UK. That's fine. I don't care. I just wanted it quickly. So this is just a button board. Some simple momentary push buttons. However, we've got ground and all of our keys. So essentially these buttons pull low, which is what I'm doing on the rotary phone project. And I've currently got all those buttons on a breadboard. I'd quite like to just make that into a little bit of a, a jig. And I thought, well, maybe it's just freaking easier if I buy something. And it is a lot easier if you buy something. I could have put it on a bit of Vera board or a bit of strip board, but no, 
I've bought something. And so I'm going to have a cable coming off here going straight into that phone. And it's going to act as my buttons. Now I only need three at the moment. This one's got four on it. So what I might do is put the power button on one end and the other two that I need on the other end and color the power button in or something like that so that I don't keep pressing it. But that's kind of cool. I'll put a link to the description of these. This one's about like, it was about £2.50, I think, which is kind of expensive if you think about stuff from China. But if you want to get local stuff, then you have to pay a premium, unfortunately, because they have to buy it in and store it and all that. So next up, I'll, I'll see if I can leave these on screen. I don't think I will. It'll never stay there. Um, next up, we've got something I've kind of already opened, but it's because it arrived at my work. Now these, I've never bought anything like these before. These are JST connectors. Um, and it's, they're things that I see people use all the freaking time and I never use anything like it. Um, but I've decided if I want to make some battery powered stuff, maybe it's a good idea I have these little kind of connectors. And these are male and female ones. Come a little bit closer, maybe a good idea. So male and female and they're keyed, which is brilliant. So they slot in like that. That's, it's not super secure, but at least it's keyed. I'm not overly worried about anything like that. So we've got ground on one side and power on the other and it is keyed. So that's kind of perfect. That's not gonna drop out. I mean, there's a fair amount of stability in there, but it does come out. You could force it in and maybe tape it up if you really wanted to, but I'm not overly worried. How does that uh, connect together? Are those? They do move, look, if you uh, move the cable. So they're actually crimped on. And over here, we've got that uh, sort of, oops, you can't see any of that standard crimping here. So I could pop those wires out if I wanted to, but those are pretty nice. And I've bought another set of these. I don't know where they are, if they're in this um, post bag or not. Um, but I think I bought ones that were a bit longer. So these ones are a sort of fairly short. What is that? Maybe actually, does this measure in centimeters? It might do. Let's see. <laughs> I've never used it for this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight centimeters looks like roughly. Is it centimeters? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think that is. Ignore what I just said. It might be on the other side, who knows? Next up, I'm going to open this one, the big old chunky button type thing. I know what it is because it couldn't be anything else. It seems to open fairly easily. It is. Oh, hello. I must have bought these from the same seller inside the bag are some JST connectors. They must have been from the same guy or girl. Or robot. Yeah, these are JST connectors with this sort of clip. Let's come in a little bit closer. Yeah, JST clip, clip blah, 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 blah. JST clip connectors with a kind of a clip on them. Let's pull one out. And these are, they're not actually far off. They're about 10 centimeters. You can't see that, can you? There we go. About 10 centimeters looking like, well, it looks like it is. And then uh, these two sort of just, Hook together, must go in a certain way. Ah, there we are. It is keyed on the top, so. How does that work? Oh, okay, so that is locked in. Now, how do you release it? Do you have to press both and hold? Yeah, you do. Okay, so that's cool. I like that. That might be nice for connecting some motors up. I am gonna attempt another robot. <laughs> Not a self-balancing one this time. That one was a freaking disaster. Anyway, so I've got these. I'll pop those in the description. And they're just another kind of, they're not, I don't know if JST is the right word. It's just what was written in the description. I don't know if JST is like a, like Molex is like a brand connector. I don't know. Um, I'll leave that up to people who are a bit more experienced. Right, what else? Oh yeah, this, I forgot. The, uh, the pedal button. Well, that is a short cable, isn't it? So I didn't buy it to use the cable. Oh, we've got something written here. Let's uh, 
Come in a little bit. Can you read that? It says 240 volts, 10 amps. Holy moly. I was just going to use it as 10 amps at 250 volts. Okay. Um, I was just going to use it as like a little signal thing, but 10 amps at 250 volts. Let's break this thing open and have a look what's inside. I wonder if there's any screws underneath. No screws underneath. Weird. They just sort of push in. Um, let's, oh, let's open it up, shall we? Oh, hang on. Look what's on the side here. We've got uh, a little metal bar. Oh, it's on the same side. So that's just uh, helping it do that. Okay. Well, let's um, pop that off and see. Have a little look what's inside, shall we? I'm just expecting a beefy connector for 250 volts at 10 amps. So what has that done? Do you press these in maybe to release it? I'm going to assume you have to press this in to release the base. No. Oh, okay, you do. Um, should you? Should I have done? Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good idea. So we've just got one of these little micro switches in here. Um, do they usually say what they're rated for? I would have thought it would. 10 volts, not 10 volts, 10 amps, 250 volts through that. I mean, I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure I can get it out of here because it's screwed in down there. But if I take one off, we might be able to... Oh, no, wait, there we go. We can take the base plate off. And have a little look. And then, yeah, if we take this other side off, maybe it's got a rating on there, but um, I'll let you come in a little bit closer here and you can have a look at that. It doesn't appear to have a rating on there. Not that I can recognize I don't, No, I don't think so. So we'll take those two screws off and see if it's got a rating on the other side. Oh, that's hard to... Oh. I don't know, maybe I don't know enough. I mean, maybe I don't know enough about mains electricity. I don't know enough about mains electricity to know whether 10 amps, 250 volts is a lot. I think it is though. I mean, Big Clive was burning sausages at like that. It does have a rating here. I don't know what it means though. That is, oh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Have I got a torch? Hopefully that's good enough. Ah, oh, let me focus. Hopefully you guys can read that. It says 16 bracket four amps, 250 volts. Is that like 16 amps instantaneous and four amps continuous? That's, that could be what it means, but either way, that seems like quite a lot. Right, I'm just going to put this back together and then we'll carry on. If anyone knows uh, the answer, then please do tell me because uh, it'd be good to know. I'm not going to use the thing at that much. I'm, basically, I'm going to stick a, uh, a microcontroller in there and I have this connect on a USB cable instead and that will um, do something on my computer. I don't really know yet, if I'm honest. Um, I think it might end up being like lock my computer or it might do a few things like lock my computer, mute the volume. I don't know. Although most of these can, things can be done with either one key or or two keys on um, the shortcuts like Windows Windows L is locking the computer, isn't it? And then you've got most keyboards these days have got those multimedia functions. So maybe I don't need to, but I like the idea of having it. So I'm going to make it all the same. And I haven't done anything with USB HID. That's a human interface device for a while. Where's that spring go right there? Which way around? That way around. Oh, heavens. 
there we go oh so okay so the secret to this is that that uh, that pole will actually slide all the way out um, so you don't want to do that back together so that should be fun I'll pop a link in the description I don't think it was very expensive but it was fun um, next up we've got a letter um, we've just looked at the uh, the thing for that what was it the what was it? hang on a minute let's find out the peregrine falcon now I think this is from Ross um, who contacted me on the interwebs and said that he liked my lazy Sundays and that um, he enjoyed the badge challenge and he sent me the badge that he made which is actually a puzzle I'll put a link in the description where you can find out about this do go over there and have a look so this is rossmarks.uk I didn't know it was just a dot uk um, the challenge coin so I don't know much about this at all. Let's come in a bit closer, by which I mean I haven't looked into it yet because I didn't expect it to arrive so fast, Ross. Um, but I'll be looking into this and hopefully it's something interesting I can figure it out because we all know I'm a bit of an idiot. So who knows if I can do it? But I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I mean, I can see I've got some diodes here. He's given me one, two, three, four, five diodes. Five go on a coin up and down. I mean, it's got the silk screen, so that's not much of a challenge, is it? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins around the outside. And then a little maze of traces going to, oh, don't tell me it's like a bodge wire challenge, Ross. Is it? I'm not sure. Oh, one zero here. So that's, oh, one zero is plus or minus, isn't it? So I'm not quite sure what we're meant to get out of this because there's no LEDs. <laughs> I don't know, Ross. We'll figure this out. I'll put a link in the description where you can find out about this. So if anyone wants to figure it out before I do, then please feel free. There's a couple of things I wanted to mention before we finish. So well done for making it this far if you did. Um, it's that. Let's see if I can pull some of this over. Oh. Oh God, look at it all. I've been working on the uh, that little thermal printer. God, it's hard to see, isn't it? It's not been going great. So I've got a lot of work to do. Um, that's all I can really show you about. But there's just so much of this paper. <laughs> I've wasted so much. Anyway, I'm enjoying playing with it. It's really cool to print something out from your Arduino. In fact, I'm using um, just a, a Nano at the moment, but I'm going to hook it up to a Raspberry Pi and do it that way. And I think I might try and do it so every time someone tweets me, then I get a... Um, a response and I think I did that hang on a minute here we are so I tried it I don't know if you can read that is that really oh, it's not really in focus but there you go um, so someone wrote from a tiny Pico hmm um, and it's because I was playing about with the printer and I wanted to see if I could pick up the mentions not as easy as one might imagine Still, it's a work in progress and I thought it'd be a fun way of having some live stream, like interaction or something. Um, let's pop these out of the way. Uh, the last thing, Ross, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I have not got a clue what this is. I know it's some kind of a puzzle. We'll figure it out, maybe together. The whole audience might get involved, we'll see. But I really appreciate it, it's very kind. Um, <laughs> all of these guys out there are much smarter than me so we will figure it out or I'll get told how to do it who knows whatever anyway lastly I just wanted to say there's a guy called Dirk Herendurfer Herendurfer Dorfer <laughs> frick why didn't I look that up um yeah he's I subscribe to him on YouTube he's a nice chap I left him a comment the other day he put a video up recently I don't know last two three weeks saying that he was a bit disappointed with the YouTube algorithm how his channels declined a bit and personally I think that's partly to do with his audience changing as they grow older and maybe to do with the content he's putting out 
but he does 3D printing, CNC stuff, and more recently has done a bit more electronics. And I've been subscribed to him for, I don't know how long actually, but I enjoy his stuff. It, I mainly enjoy his delivery. It doesn't necessarily have to be the topic. Like I just like picking things up and learning something. But um, what I'd like you to do is head over to his channel and take a look at some of the stuff he's doing. Right now he's doing a project called Micro Me, and um, it's like a cool Franken, I, I love it. Um, it's, I, it's got a basic interpreter, that's capital basic, so like the language. He's got this cool thing going on a display, it works really, really fast, I was pretty impressed. And he's got all these different modules to do different things. He's not got everything working yet, but it's well worth a look and uh, it's well worth a follow. So I'm not telling you to subscribe, like just go and take a look. If it's your bag, then fair enough. But I'll put a link in the description and uh, go take a look. All right, I will speak to you all soon. Oh wait, one last thing. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's like two, three last things, isn't it? Anyway, I'm off to Japan soon, so it's not gonna be very far away. That's like in a week, I think. Um, and two very generous people have agreed to do a couple of guest spots on my channel. And it isn't because I'm like a massive YouTuber or anything like that, nothing like that, in fact, um, but I don't want your eyeballs going to waste. And these are two people that I really, really like. Um, I think they make great content, they're funny, they've got lovely personalities, and I think they're worthy of your time. So they'll be doing little guest videos so that you can take a look at them, see if you like them, and you don't have to subscribe because they'll be popping up in your like subscription list through me. And I'll do a little intro and they'll do their bit, and then you can choose to subscribe to them all up. So, there you go. <laughs> all right. Now, I will see you all soon. Probably only a couple of videos left till Japan now. I'm quite excited, although it might not happen. <laughs> my mate, my best mate, Dave, I know, weird, right? Two days. Um, he's injured his leg, so I'm not quite sure we're going yet. He can't walk, so it wouldn't be great to uh, go to Japan. So I don't know. We'll see. I might be going on my own. Hopefully not, because I'd like to go with Dave. Never mind. All right. Bye, I guess. Bye.